Good evening from Washington, D.C., and thank you to those of you joining us from around the world for news from a Catholic perspective. I'm Wyatt Goolsby, in for Lauren Ashburn. Congress takes action on Obamacare. The House overwhelmingly passes legislation that is the first step towards repealing President Barack Obama's divisive health care law. Jason Calvi has been following the vote on Capitol Hill. Jason? Why at 227 for, 198 against. It was a party line vote, but nine Republicans voted against it. It clears the way for a repeal bill to move forward in the Senate without the threat of a Democratic filibuster. Today's legislation doesn't need to be signed by the president and wouldn't actually change a word of the law. But its passage is critical if Republicans are to keep their long-standing promise to do away with Obamacare and defund Planned Parenthood. Today on the House floor, Democrats make the case for Obama's controversial health care law. Uh, all we get from them are repeal bills, repeal bills, repeal bills. Not once, not once was there a replacement bill offered. But Republicans who control Congress say the law is saddled with problems. This law is collapsing while we speak. We have to step in before things get worse. This is nothing short of a rescue mission. Democrats promise a fight. This is a fight worth having. Protecting uh, people's health care is something that we all should be dedicated to, and we're going to fight you on this. The GOP is attaching a measure to defund Planned Parenthood to the Obamacare repeal. Planned Parenthood is not the be-all, end-all for women's health. It simply is not. It is a storefront for doing abortions. Speaker Ryan says funds given to Planned Parenthood will go to health centers. For every Planned Parenthood, there, is tw uh, there are 20 federal community health centers. They're vastly bigger in network. There are so many more of them, and they provide these kinds of services without all the controversy surrounding this issue. Now, we should remind our viewers that the HHS mandate that is a part of Obamacare forced employers to cover birth control, abortion-inducing drugs and sterilization. Private businesses and nonprofits like our own network sued the administration over it. They say the mandate forces them to violate their conscience. We'll have to see what happens next, but stay right here. Tune to EWTN News Nightly for the next step. Jason Calvi reporting from Capitol Hill. Thanks, Jason.